Big time focus. Darwin, yeah. This is obviously a Darwin. Made in focus, damn you. Sheffield, England. Home of the mighty Wade and Butcher. This is Darwin. This is harsh light, by the way. The thing is in gorgeous shape, to be quite honest with you. Darwin. Uh, I'm slumming here by putting an Astra in this thing. I really don't like Astra so much. Astra. Ah, don't cut me. It's weird not having a center post. <laughs> Just doing this to show you because some of these have sort of tight um, pins for the blade, and this one doesn't. Darwin. There's a blade gap in the Darwin, by the way, if I can pick it up. And I don't think I can. Anyway, you get the idea. Darwin. Beautiful razor. Stainless steel. A handle with style, unlike those boring bulldog handles they put on everything these days. A handle with grip. That isn't a bulldog handle. <clears throat> and I would say a shaving head that's pretty much completely unique. I think it was honestly designed to kind of mimic the feel of a straight razor in terms of how the cap was shaped, but we'll never know because there's nobody who designed this around, so. Don't cut yourself, because there's no center stud. Anyway, yeah. I am better than other double-edged razors, even the toggle. And there you go. Focus, 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 focus. It's tiny, but it is heavy. Let me tell <laughs> Build quality from a bygone era. It's kind of the heavy thing only a British person would ever make. It's like if a Wade and it's like you have Wade and Butcher and Frederick Reynolds. You have all those big, heavy wedge straight razors, and that came out of Sheffield. And then it was only fitting that Sheffield made this big, heavy block of a double edge razor. <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful razor. Beautiful, beautiful.